All right, so another general release donks in light or wood brown colorway. First one was the Japanese inspired Sashiko donks, which I really like, but this newly released sneakers, in my opinion, is not too shabby as well. And in this video, let's take a closer look on the quality and on feet impressions. Hey boss, Penny Manchaf here again and I will tell you directly, these are one of the best quality dunks that I have and it's giving me actually SB Dunks Adobe vibe because of the mixture of the materials. On the base you have the canvas and on the overlays are made of soft textured tumble leather. This retails at 130 euro which is a bit expensive than the normal dunks since this is a PRM version. First looking at the workmanship, my pair is free of glue stains and the stitchings are properly executed. Second is the quality of materials. The overlays are made of super soft tumble leather and the base are made of textured canvas which feels durable on hand. The embroidered dark green Nike logos on the heel tab are top notch, sharing the same color on the canvas tongue logo. This dunks by the way came with a normal Nike Dunk Low GR red box and there's nothing special into it but I really wish all GR dunks have this kind of quality in terms of materials and workmanship and I gotta be honest I'd say it's almost the same with the SB dunks. I'm talking about the GR ones the only missing of course is the insoles which SB Dunks have the Zoom Air technology and this one is just normal of course. The cushioning of this pair are thicker than the normal Dunks giving you SB Dunks kind of fit. You don't get any extra laces which is disappointing but the default laces are quite okay already. Adding some contrast are the dark green insoles sporting the Nike logo per usual. The Orbo Dunks have beige midsole including the outsole creating almost like a monochrome look with the herringbone patterns for a better grip. Overall, the shoe gave a summer vibe look which is perfect for the weather now here in Germany. And speaking of summer vibe look, I would say this would look great in a short pants but of course you can't go wrong as well with some light faded blue jeans and if you want to maintain the streetwear vibe, you can always pair it as well with a relaxed fit or slim fit light green cargos. In my opinion, Nike Dunk Clo looks much better with relaxed, tapered, or straight fit pants because of its low cut silhouette. Here, I'm showing you some examples how I'm rocking them. First, maintaining the streetwear vibe, I paired it with my light green cargos with drawstrings, and they really look dope in my opinion. Pair it with some white loose t shirt, and you're good to go. Secondly, if you like the vintage vibe, slim fit, light faded blue, or dark gray jeans would complement nicely as well with the beige colorway. Now for my favorite look, I really like pairing this all the time with my distressed faded denim short pants and it's a slim fit one. I don't like wearing baggy short pants. In my opinion, it doesn't really suits me well since I'm on the shorter side and if you are a tall guy then good for you, you have good genetics but to me those kind of pants really matches the tall and lanky stature just like the basketball players. What about the sizing? I'm still wearing true to size on this one although it's a little bit snug if you want to compare it to the normal GR Dunks, not the PRM version. And if you want to ask me, is this really worth it for the 130 price tag? Short answer for that is no, it's still on the expensive side. But if you're looking for a good alternative of the famous Nike Dunk Low Panda, which is currently sitting by the way here in Germany, then this colorway is perfect for you. 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you around. Peace.